Okay, next we're going to be looking at the figure eight family of knots, starting out with the figure eight on a bite. And the figure eight on a bite is commonly used to create a clip in point either at the end of the rope or anywhere in the middle. The first thing you'll want to do is take a bite of rope and we're going to begin to make a loop. Once we create our loop, we're going to come around for one extra turn, passing our end through and creating the figure eight on a bite. Next in our family of figure eight knots, we're going to be looking at the figure eight follow through. This knot is commonly used to tie into the harness. Kate's going to be assisting us with this. And what you want to do is find the end of your rope, take about a full arm's length, make a loop, pull the loop up till it's fairly small, make an extra twist and pass the rope through, creating a figure eight knot. Then take the spare end here, feed it through both contact points of the harness. And once you do that, you'll begin to retrace the knot. Starting from where it came out, we're merely going to follow its original path. And when we're done, we'll see that the knot is nice and neatly doubled. Very easy to inspect. Make sure it's correct. Finishing off our family of figure eights, we're going to look at the super eight, also known as the two looped figure eight. We're going to begin this knot the same way that we did the figure eight on a bite, starting with a large bite of rope. Make your loop, throw your extra twist in, but instead of pulling the end all the way through, only pull it partially through, then take the end loop, bring it over the top of the entire knot, thereby creating a two looped figure eight. One of the nice things about this knot is these two loops are independent of each other and can be adjusted to create offset loops to clip into different points.